What's up guys, Eli and friends here. You know, we just saw It 2. Um, and it's a sequel to It 1. Yes sir, chapter two. 27 years after the kids uh, defeated the clown, he's back, everyone's back in town, they gotta fight the clown. And yeah, that's the story. And yeah. will, they, will they defeat the clown? I don't know if you read the book, you'll know. But if you haven't read the book, who knows? And you want to give your opinion about the movie first? You want to give my opinion about the movie first? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was uh, funny too. I really and I like the adult counterparts of the movie as well. Like I was scared because the first movie the kids did so good. And I was like, are the uh, adults gonna be stale? Right, right. But they wasn't stale. They didn't give like some, they actually good. improved on the little kids because some of the little kids. Some of them. Yeah, some of them like the black like the black kid. He didn't really yeah, yeah, yeah. have nothing to do in the first movie. Like he. Met the group like 40 minutes afterwards and stuff in here. He's pretty much like the main character. Right, he figured he, it all. Yeah, he came in. He was like, all right, I'm about to get my role. And I know that's what a lot of people was mad about the first movie was because he played so big important part in the book. And in the first movie, he was just not even. He had like a couple lines and stuff. He was just there. I like Billy. Billy always James McAvoy. Yeah, the actor mm -hmm. James McAvoy. He always he always kills it in there. And. Yeah, I really liked all of them. Like, who's the dude with the glasses? Uh, Mike? No, the, Mike was the black guy. Richie. 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 I like Richie too. I like yeah, Richie's I like story and everything. The movie got sad at points too. Really sad. And it like can't give you some uh, relevations of stuff in the first movie that you didn't really get to see. So that was cool too. And Pennywise seemed like he was kind of less in this movie at the, like the very till the very end. He's like less really. Right. But Pennywise was good. The CGI sometimes is iffy. And like. <laughs> The movie wasn't really scary for me. It was, nah, it there's was, a couple jump scares if you're not ready. But yeah, it, it felt more of like an action movie rather really yeah. than a scary or like a, movie. Like a suspenseful, like a, what's the word? You know, like a mystery. Yeah, a mystery. But I will say the movie was longer. Horror movies sh should be like an hour and thirty minutes <laughs> cap. This movie was almost three hours, bro. And like the book is uh, this and the uh, the first one and the second one. So I, I understand why they split it in half because if not. If you watch these movies back to back, that's like yeah. six hours, bro. That's, that's a Lord day. of the Rings stuff. That's. Woo. Mm. But if you like the first one, you'll definitely like the second one. Yeah, and I like how they uh, brought back the kids and like showed you the kids and everything still. Right. Like they had scenes with them. So it wasn't like you went to this movie and the kids part just. Nah, they incorporated yeah. that and everything. And yeah, I don't really have much to say. If you like the first one, watch it. If you haven't seen the first one, don't watch the second one if you, that's yeah, kind of weird. Least. So yeah, watch the first one, then watch this one. But if you like the first one, watch it. I recommend it. It was, it was good horror movie. Not my favorite, but it was entertainment. Entertaining. Uh, nothing much really. Just uh, when you said like it showed the kids, I like that too. And you saw scenes that you didn't see in the first one. And this one, so like, it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. Yeah. Till next time. What I think about it, chapter two, is this movie is very grotesque, very much more hardcore than the first one, much more better than the first one. Stephen King will always be the lord of horror movies, horror books, horror everything. He's a goat. Y'all check it out, too. Thumbs up, that's my opinion. Damn.